Hello everyone. Uh, well, I will go fast because I don't have much time. So I'm one of the VLC guys uh, for quite a long time now, uh, working on a lot of things and breaking a lot of things as well. So uh, we will see today uh, VLC 4, which is the next release. Uh, that everyone is waiting for, and my first answer for you is when it is released, and I don't know. I still don't know. So we had some uh, objectives, uh, a lot of uh, big changes uh, to fix uh, uh, long old bugs. Uh, so for the audio resampling, we introduced a new clock model for the video resource management, we changed the model to a pool model instead of push. And for uh, having a proper stream output, which is mostly transcoding, uh, and uh, passing to some other modules, so we had to rework the way we were dealing with the time. And also, uh, what everyone is asking is the new UI, because the old one uh, doesn't suit everyone. Uh, so we are on this since quite a long time, six years now. Uh, lots of commits, lots of merge requests. Uh, there's still a lot of merge requests waiting, a uh, lot of changes, and we are still expiring milestone. Um, we are turning into vaporware soon, like uh, some uh, well-known video game. Um, well, but we are progressing. What happened is that uh, we are dealing with really old code uh, because the core is hard for us. Uh, we are not the guy with who wrote it. Uh, it was hard to understand, uh, and there is a lot of documentation. Uh, like everyone likes to write documentation, it was well documented. Uh, read the fucking code. Uh, so we knew what kind of trouble we were. We would be running to and we went into it. But uh, everything is getting better. So we did the new clock, it works quite well. Uh, the video side is also done. Uh, the timestamp still have some issues. And the modern UI is on uh, good progress. And uh, of course we still have to deal with more regression because the fix uh, triggers a new regression, surprisingly. Um, we will change the Chromecast uh, because uh, the current Chromecast is still buggy. Uh, so we had to provide a full HLS server for people knowing what it means instead of uh, streaming the file uh, directly to the Chromecast. So, so the Chromecast has better control of the buffering and doesn't uh, run out of data. Uh, and also uh, provide Support for real subtitles, uh, which never really worked without HLS. Uh, we also removed things from for the next release. Uh, we were promising a lot of uh, VR, HMD, 3D, virtual movie, theater, and things. Yeah, but it, it was hype. Uh, the guy with it, what the code is gone. Uh, so probably we won't maintain this, or maybe not for this version. Uh, and on the audio output, uh, we are able to achieve, finally, as a video player, gapless output for, gapless audio for uh, when you are turning into an audio player. Uh, no more resampling glitches, something that people were always complaining that VLC is always resampling audio. And we also deal, properly dealing with uh, audio delay, which means when you plug your uh, Bluetooth headset, Video keeps in sync with audio. It's not the same for AirPlay, which has quite a huge delay, like two seconds. So those things are fixed and good and improved. And we also have some things we couldn't think we could fix, like the frame by frame, which was quite buggy for us. Uh, so you can now do more than five frames ahead uh, without uh, running into issues. And we also, the guy which fixed this understood the thing so well that he's also introduced uh, a hack to provide a previous frame. And in 
video, it's really hard to go back in time. Uh, and currently we have, we have people working on super resolution, so upscaling. Uh, most, mostly this is done for uh, NVIDIA, video cards, and Intel. Uh, it works, it doesn't provide much enhancement, but things are getting better. Uh, also, the stream output, so that was for the HLS output. Uh, we introduced hardware encoding uh, on this side because uh, uh, we liked to do to drain battery uh, for people doing Chromecast. So now it's way better. Um, also, we improved the subtitles so on Android. It was quite laggish. Um, we had to improve that uh, and find better way to upload textures. And uh, so it's quite better now. For us, for the developer side and uh, Contributors, uh, we, we are now able to build with Nissan. So, Auto Tools uh, is gone soon. Uh, and also, we are probably uh, starting to write Rust modules for improved security. So, we made some changes to be more Rust friendly uh, at the uh, ABI level. Uh, and uh, to provide a new player, we had to provide a new way to uh, uh, show video to people, to present your collection. And so we had to write a media library. Uh, so was a concept which was really buggy because it was built in the, U, in the UI uh, in the old releases. Uh, now we have a dedicated library. Uh, it discovers all your media on your, uh, on your device. Uh, it gathers metadata, it does thumbnailing. Uh, it stores the uh, playback restoration state, uh, your preferences in language. It does everything that what a modern uh, video player should do. Provide full search, and it's already used by uh, the Android version and the macOS version. So it's quite well tested. Uh, for the developer, we, we are replacing a lot of things. So we are exposing a lot of API. Um, I'm not sure how much time I have to go. Uh, okay, good. Uh, and uh, we also discarding uh, Bogus event model, but anyway, that's not interesting for this one. And we also have some uh, lot of uh, wrappers. Uh, so the old the CPP GNI, which is for Android, VLC Kit, which is for macOS. Uh, we have a wrapper for VLC Sharp, uh, which is also used uh, by VLC for Unity, which uh, is available in the different license, but uh, that's another question. And we are also working on providing uh, LiveVLC on Unreal Engine uh, for video games. So everything good on this side. Uh, but we also achieve something really interesting for people and professional world, which is low latency, something that VLC never really achieved. Uh, so we had to deal with a, a, a sum of buffering, framing, delay, decoder, so always one second on two seconds late. Uh, and we have a new option, which is low delay. Uh, so we tweaked a lot of things. Uh, we are able to target uh, some decoder, which can do uh, low latency, because you need some kind of specific profile. Uh, and we are around uh, 50 million seconds on the local network, which is really nice. Uh, which means also that uh, less than three frames at 60 FPS. And uh, that's good. Uh, so that's a screenshot of glass to glass. And uh, you can see that uh, the counter of number of frames locally is around uh, two and a half. So this is really hard to see that very latency now. But that's a specific mode. And the new UI, so that's what you're waiting for. Uh, everything is uh, rewritten uh, using Qt Quick, which is uh, mostly JavaScript, uh, CSS. So a lot of changes, a lot of trouble. Uh, we are able now to provide light and dark teams, which was really nearly Im almost impossible in Qt4 without a lot of hacks. That's why we were not progressing on this. We run into a lot of uh, Qt issues. Um, we still run into, especially with Wayland on Linux. 
Uh, and also, we need to provide a legacy interface because not everyone will be happy to have a new interface, and some people still like the old interface, and we have to drop it. So we need to provide a way to uh, provide that uh, in that interface to to people. So how does it look? Well, you have your library, uh, and you have all the features when you can browse into the categories and the discoveries, all the categories you had before, and everything is integrated. Um, yeah, and I need to do a demo. So, so this is a dark. Oh, but that's not the, the right screen. So how do I switch? I'm lost. Um, okay, so probably I need to change the stream yard to something to another. No, you know. Yeah, because I, it's not me worrying my my screen. So. No, 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 no. It's already mirroring. Okay, good. <coughs> okay, good. It's duplicating. This is duplicating. Yeah, okay, well, good. So this is the uh, dark team, uh, which is uh, switching automatically depending on the system. So you have this uh, library, which is uh, creating terminals and everything. So you have your progress bar, uh, like on the video streaming websites. Uh, you have the quality and everything. Uh, you can resume your video. Uh, Okay, um, so you have uh, your subtitles uh, selection. You have the drop down uh, menu, which is disappearing. Yeah, okay. Uh, so everything that you should expect from a recent player. And also you have a picture in picture. Uh, so you can still uh, browse and find other content, and you have a um, modern uh, music player like uh, some others. Uh, and for example, uh, where do I go to the tracks? Uh, so you still have your playlist. Uh, that's not what I want to do. Okay. Um, And I'm also discovering some recent changes. <laughs> so you should have the tracks, the list of tracks when uh, discovering your albums. Yeah, okay. So that is, yeah, sorry for this. Um, yeah. Um, well, okay. Well, anyway, it doesn't matter. I, yeah, so I can go back to my slides. Um, sorry for that. Okay, so we can try. It's available uh, on our 90 bits. Um, of course, it's still unstable, but it works. It works quite well right now. So if you have feedback, uh, we can take it. 
and now what's going next? Uh, so we will probably provide a way to have a more standardized uh, hotkeys. That's something with what people want. Also provide some uh, upscaling shaders uh, for, we are already working on super resolution, but very specific shaders for, for example, anime, uh, which are quite popular. We need to fix the HDR on Linux platforms. Uh, we are still waiting for proper API. Probably move the subtitles in the black bar below this video. Uh, for some platforms, that's another request. Uh, for some reason, we will want also to provide some transparency support. Mostly this, for, this is for the video games uh, engines that I, I mentioned before. And we are also uh, sandboxing for security. So that's something we worked uh, for a long time now. Uh, it starts working. Uh, it's available on Linux Windows. It's based on Linux uh, on a Rust uh, library, which is written in Rust. Um, and also, uh, we have a project which is quite uh, successful, is that we are rebuilding uh, the whole VLC uh, into Wasm. Uh, the reason is that you no longer have web plugins on, in your browser. And depending on your browser, you have a lot of limitations, which means if you want to play back some video, you need usually to be in MP4, and you are limited to some codecs, and you cannot do what uh, the old player were doing, and you cannot do this also using a plugin. So rebuilding everything in Wasm and using the, uh, uh, the web codecs acceleration provide you hardware acceleration in most of the cases, but it removes all the browser limitation you would have. So you have everything that VLC provides. All the formats, all the subtitles, you can watch DVD, ISO, in your browser. You have support for every comma you want, uh, of course with convention, convention uh, or the depth. And if you want, uh, if, you are, if you want to do VP9 4K in software, you have that that level of performance. So everything works. Uh, there's a link if you want to try. There are a few steps to set up your browser to remove some limitations, but it works quite well in Chrome and especially on Windows, which is sad. Yeah. Okay, I think I'm done. Uh, and I'm on time. Uh, well, thank you for listening. If you, there's question, technical, well, or we can talk after because we are a bit late on the schedule. Thank you. Thank you very much. And please test, provide feedback.